Wheels, what in your boy five? Tim McGraw, it's everywhere. Sato six, six after. Studio's been taken over. Everybody say good morning. Good, good morning. morning. This is a rough one. <laughs> <laughs> Midway Blues and now big round of applause, Midway Blues. Come on, guys, give yourself a round. <laughs> All right, Warren. I told everybody that I would I would never remember everybody's name. How do you do it this morning? Um, How do you manage to look that rough this late in the day, man? Uh, it's very careful. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Charlie Sheen. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> How you guys do it? Good. All right, you want to introduce everybody around here? Tell us what they do for a living, or no? Let's let's say what they do to uh, with the band. You don't want to know what they do. Absolutely, we have Parker Dewitt, who is the drummer of Midway Blue. What's up, Parker? Guys. Tyler Roberts, who is one of the uh, lead guitarists. Hey, hey, radio. Hey, hey, radio. <laughs> and then we have Jeff Springs over here. That is the other lead guitarist. Jeff's over the wall over there. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> it's really early for Jeff, too. And back in the back, we have our tour manager, Mr. Wade Kane. Wade, how you doing, man? Doing good, man. How are you? Doing great. And then behind us, uh, Eddie Snipes, he does all our internet and our blogging and all that good jazz. And Eddie's right? the guy with the camera back there. Yep. yep. And He's I hope that thing's up pointed at me. Eddie. That, you know, there's a reason I'm afraid. Look. <laughs> Just keep it on the, the guys, right? All right, so, brand new album. Brand new. Let's talk about new. Yeah, brand thinking new. Take it, Parker. Tell them about the new album. Um, well, the new album. Um, we took we took like three songs off the old one um, that we wrote last year. Mm -hmm. um, three really strong songs: "Slow Down," um, "Gypsy Eyes," and "Country Boys and Girls." Mm -hmm. And um, Warren had been working on this piece, I think, for some time. Um, you know, he had wanted to write. You know, a strong country album, but still incorporate, you know, the roots of like our rock and roll right. and whatnot. Yep. And we really, we really hit that. I mean, our producer nailed it when he came in from LA. Just knew what we wanted to do. Got in there, grinded it out. But um, notice how he kind of just a little snug up, little producer from LA. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Right, we'll talk about him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even started on him. Yeah, don't get me started on him. But no, um, the album is called Jesus and James Dean, and um. Pretty much the title speaks for itself. Um, Jesus and James Dean, kind of like a rock in a hard place, something like that. I got you, um, yeah. Warren, like I said, he's been working on that and um, really much, you know, like telling us what his ideas were. And we all kind of saw it. We connected. I mean, it was just like a light switch when we kind of knew because we took all the old material, which we were just kind of throwing sounds together. You know, we had the sounds of bluegrass, we had the sounds of rock and roll, we had the sounds of country, we yeah. had, and we were. We were doing great stuff with it, but it was like we couldn't put our finger on a genre. Mm -hmm. And that's what everyone was kind of wanting to hear. And um, we just kind of sat down one day and we were like, you know, Warren came to the table and he was like, dude, I got this song, man, Jesus and James Dean, I want y'all to hear it. Started put, playing out, you know, chords and Jeff started throwing, Jeff and Tyler just started throwing riffs on it. And then it just, you know, came into this whole um, pretty much, you know, album what it is now. And then the producer hopped in, Doug DeAngelis, uh, via L.A., Los Angeles, <laughs> California. Uh, Dougie, what's up, man? But, um, no, um, he came in and he was just, uh, you know, such a big inspiration, knew exactly what we wanted to do, and um, was just, you know, elevated at times ten. I mean, Fantastic. He just, he just came in and just nodded out. We just recently got finished with that, actually. You can go on... Um, YouTube right now and watch videos of uh, actually Eddie Snipes did it for us and uh, cam got a camera in the studio so there's, there's some behind the scenes and you can hear some songs, just clips of songs and stuff like that but um, we actually bought a song with us today uh, um, it's like a demo, can we, can we play that one? like, yeah I think yeah. we could. Yeah, baby. Okay. Cool deal. Well, um, but I'm yeah, gonna, that's... I'm not gonna make a commitment for more. Than <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm still, I'm, I'm getting wound up here. I'm getting wound up here. But no, um, I'm looking at that can of Mountain Dew, thinking, oh, why yeah. am I not drinking? Mountain Dew. Yeah. <laughs> I should, I should I don't get wake sponsorship from Mountain Dew. That's okay. good. Doggo and Midway Blue in the studio is with us live this morning. How did the, uh, how did the thing come together with the producer out of California? Just pick up the phone. He picked up the phone to you. I mean, tell us how, how this came about. We had actually worked with him with the uh, with the Fast Track to Fame, the TV show that we did, mm -hmm. and he was one of the, the head producers there. And then after everything was said and done, and we ended up uh, winning the title of Fast Track to Fame and whatnot. Yep. He uh, well, like well, he just kind of threw that in there. Yeah. This, yeah. This, uh, you guys for a plug, plug, plug. But he just he 
wanted to work with us and, and we ended up, you know, getting a little agreement and, and whatnot and kind of went from there and it was just like automatic chemistry. I mean, it was what you always hear people talk about as far as band and producer relationship. All right, now everybody that's uh, even been anywhere near this area or let's face it, anywhere on the East Coast or have probably uh, seen you guys perform live or, or heard at least heard of you guys. How are you feeling right now? At what stage are you where, all right, tomorrow is going to be, yeah, I knew them when. You know what I mean? Yeah. Are, are you, you, you guys feel like you're right on that edge where you're, you're right at that, that stage where you're going to be hanging off the edge? Yeah, uh, really, I hear you, man. Really okay. I've been doing, um, uh, July will be 11 years that I've been playing like an acoustic scene and stuff, and mm -hmm. I couldn't ever get anything to kind of put me to the next level. Then got up with these guys, and I mean, we have five, I mean, we're missing one member this morning. He's still in the bed. He's in the bed, everybody. If you're listening, shame on you. Get out of bed. Hey, we all know he's not listening. He's still Drink some asleep. coffee. <laughs> um, but got it with these guys, and it was just, uh, it's been some tough times and all. I mean, you have all the, the stories as far as bands getting in arguments and all that, but I mean, we're we're a big family, and now everything's just complete, and now everything's finally coming full circle for me personally. And, you know, the songs are coming good, um, and the response that we get from the public, I mean, Florence, uh, oh, Pampico, yeah. uh, the whole PDA, yeah, it's, it's, it's general, just great. Um, it really you is. You guys rock. We yeah. have the best fans. Without y'all, I mean, we couldn't make it. You know, we wouldn't we wouldn't be here right now talking to you in the studio if it wasn't for the support that we've had just from South Carolina well, in general. I mean, you guys definitely. I mean, you, you know that you've got, and you know, it's, it's so. How important is you? Uh, is it for you as a band to have that building base, the people oh, that you gosh. know, no matter where so, you're going, you're going to have some people out there that's tremendous. Know about. Yeah, I mean, that's just like, um, you know, just said so we went to Columbia the other night, and we, and just a random place, we were playing a, a acoustic show. You know, Jeff, Jeff didn't even make it, and um, we come in there, and the owner, first thing, he's like. We have like four tables reserved for, uh, for like 12, feet, 12 tops for you guys over here, you know. And this was in some private little listening venue that we had never played before. Just booked a random gig. So having stuff like that, you know, and just kind of a little following here and there, you know. It just, like you said, it just adds up over time and builds and builds and builds. And, you know, you can't, can't ask for a better thing, I guess. Well, all right. Let's talk about uh, putting a little money in your pocket. Somebody wants to get their hands on this CD. Um, as of right now, they can go and... and pretty much come to shows. I mean, go go to our Facebook page. Um, we're we, we're actually developing a website now to where it'll have the whole PayPal thing. You can buy it online whatnot. So, as of right now, come to shows. That's yeah. it. <laughs> this, this, this song that we do have iTunes. with us. Um, it's, it's yeah, it, it'll, oh, it'll be on iTunes and everything like that. Amazon. I mean, now it'll be all over once we get it out there. But this song that we have, like I said, it's um, it's a real rough cut. It's a demo that we're actually going to play for you. So it feels special out there, air people, because we're not supposed to be playing this. Don't, we're getting uh, a lot of trouble. Uh, don't, tell you, don't tell it, Deli, when you heard this. But anyways, we're going to let you play it for sure. And okay. um, uh, no, it's just a demo. The album should be cut. You know, whenever. Uh, I will be finished within the month. Within the month. Yeah. Okay. Cross your fingers. Yeah. Uh, I just found this yeah. out. We're going to be debuting the, the, the cut I got here. This is first time on broadcast radio anywhere. Yes. Yeah, first. First. The first. The first. Man, first ever. Yeah. 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 All right, you I said told you, you I loved you. Uh, <laughs> oh, I said it. I'm not sure love from it. <laughs> 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 this rough night. Like, no, I yeah. Saying, well, yeah. I get that all the time. Remember, I'm a married guy. <laughs> it wasn't necessarily a rough night, it was just a great show. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean, you know, all the energy out there last night, you kind of it right Yeah, well, and here I go getting out of the bed before, you know. No, no, we, we got to give our love over there. Fountainhead, you know, on Dargan Street, Dr. Keith and those guys out there. Yeah. Thank you, Chief. You know, they take such good care of us. Had a great show last night. Come out and see us at Therapy Now tonight. Oh, yeah. Come out and see us live. Oh, speak. Second loop, Therapy Now. And you can get a CD there, too. So there you go. Shocker. Come on out and see us. All right, I feel like I'm being used here. this All right, but... But because of that, I'm, I'm going to get the debut of this one. Right, who's going to tell me about this? It's called uh, Autumn Leaves, right? Autumn Leaves. Go ahead. Right. Um, this is the, the newest. This song used to be called L.A. Um, <laughs> and then when the producer came down, he was like, yeah, the song just doesn't make sense. And uh, we redid the whole chorus thing, and it's turned into probably, besides Jesus and James, one of my favorite songs. 
and it, it's just really developed into something great. And hope everybody likes it. And, right, there, uh, there you go. Know, a little background. If a producer comes in and listens to your song and says, "No, that's just yeah, well, well, not well, Take everything you're doing <laughs> and no, just no, change it completely. Change. Just yeah. Well, you know what we were shooting for is like remember how I was like you know we were trying to incorporate the our roots and right. keep it. But, but push for country, you know, push for something that we can hit the charts with, mm -hmm. home country, come straight in, boom, right in your face. But keep our roots in there, kind of like flow with that kind of rock and roll, almost Americana feel. Mm -hmm. um, almost like a, almost like a Wilco or like, you know, like old bands, you know, Charlie Daniels band, you know, like a Marshall Tucker band, you know, just keep to our roots, keep what we love, but then push for that mainstream pop country, which we could get a hit on, you know, which, boom, you know, right when you get on those charts, you know, boom, you're in. All right, man. Well, you got me bumped up about it. Let's, let's yeah, get let's this thing, right? Autumn yeah. Leaves, Midway Blue, Wheels, 100.5. Good morning. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, man. Boy playing the bass. But that's Ronnie's boy. Appreciate it. Uh, tell us where you're going to be the next couple of days, next couple of weeks. Yeah, so. tonight we're going to be over at uh, Therapy Now in Florence, South Carolina. Um, Shuckers uh, every Wednesday. Yeah, Shuckers every Wednesday night. We yep. do our, um, our show over there every Wednesday. Much love for Shuckers over there. They're uh, great people. Um, and then uh, we got a big show coming up um, oh, May yeah. 5th that we can't May really... May 5th. We can't tell you everything. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be really, 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 really... Really big, yeah, um, really big we'll show. Should be making an announcement uh, beginning of next week as far as the details on. So probably, yeah, that's what. Um, so everybody listening will be on the point five. Uh, uh, if we tell you, oh, 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 point five. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. Guys, thank, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Midway thank Blue, you. big round of applause yeah. for you guys. Yeah.